All right, hey, Cancer, you are with somebody right now, and your question is, is this the one? Am I with the person I'm supposed to be with? Right? This is for those of you who are engaged and have yet to be married, who are boyfriend and girlfriend, yet to be engaged, who are just wondering if in general this person is the right one for you, if you're supposed to be with them. All right. Oh. Okay. We have a lot of wands energy right here, Cancer. Okay. I'm going to pull Romance Angel. You're a Cancer. Does this person have the potential to be the one? Does the situation involve commitment? bottom of the deck we have um keep an open mind okay so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who um is not your usual type okay i feel like this person right here they um they're not your usual type okay and i feel like that's why release your ex is coming out okay this person you are dealing with do they have the potential to be the one Okay, we have the hermit coming out, angel of reflection. Um, I do feel like this is a yes because when there's a major arcana on a yes or no question, I do feel like that's a little more um, confirmation for you, okay? But I do feel like for you, Cancer, you have to release your ex because I feel like that is playing a factor in your, um, that's playing a factor in your um, ambition, I want to say, to be with this person, Okay. Um, if it's not you, um, then it's them. Okay. And that might be why you feel, um, <laughs> unrequited love. But to be honest, I feel like, um, I don't feel like it's them needing to release their ex. I feel like I'm getting the pull from you. Does this, um, situation have, does this situation involve commitment? We have the queen of wands. Okay. Creativity and very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay um why did that come into my head right there what the fuck? okay clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now um Anyway, um, yeah, this situation um, has the potential to involve commitment, but I feel like um, that ball is in your court, Cancer, okay? Um, I feel like you, <laughs> I feel like this is kind of on you and this is in regards to this person, okay? I feel like uh, you might have problems comparing some attributes, some physical, something physical or some like idiosyncrasies like this person has, okay? But it's not enough to say no. It's not enough to tell you no, but um, I feel like you compare them in some ways to people that you um, are used to dating. Like this person is different. This person comes in, they're a certain way. You're not used to it. This is your team saying, you know, you can't leave somebody on the hook, all right? Um, and I almost feel like it's you're the reason why this situation is not really progressing right now. Um, because I feel like you, you have some deciding to do. Okay. And it could, it could be the other way around. All right. Um, conflicting influences. We have, um, inspiration. We have the ace of wands coming out. Okay. And, um, well, I don't, with this being a conflicting influence, 
I almost feel like you guys have differences in some things that you like. Okay, I'm not relating this to the male follicle for this spread um, because I'm not feeling that energy. But I feel like this has something to do with the conflicting influences being you guys don't like the same things. Okay, I almost feel like you're questioning why you guys are in this together, Cancer, because I feel like you um, feel that, well, I, I don't know, maybe there's not enough chemistry here. Maybe this person is not your type, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to tell you, you got to be with this person. This is up to, this is for you to decide. Okay. The favorable influences are coming out as the king of, or the knight of pentacles, trust and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. So, um, but with trust coming out right there by keep an open mind, I feel like you're. Your team is giving you some hints, okay? But what they're not going to interject in is free will, okay? Um, so it's like, oh, why can't I just meet the nicest person in the world and they take care of me and they love me and blah, blah, blah. Well, here they are sending you this person, all right? But I feel like there's a couple of little things about them that you might let, um, <laughs> you might let that potentially um, go, because they're like, we're sending you, you know, somebody, this is what you asked for. You could just be trying to manifest somebody nice, but you didn't think about, you know, when you're asking for somebody nice, what they were going to look like, you know? So if it's a looks thing, it's like, well, when you manifest a person, you, you do want to manifest what they are going to be like, how they're going to treat you. But you also want to maybe throw in a couple of um, features too. Okay. Cause I almost feel like I'm talking to somebody who has manifested the perfect relationship, but they might not be fully attracted to the person or there's some things about them that you don't like, but you forgot to include that on your manifestation. It's okay to manifest somebody who's nice and loyal and kind and committed, but it's okay too for you to throw in the type of physical attributes that you were looking for. I feel like that's okay. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> the universe wants to give you what you want. Okay. Um, you know, so you have free will. You don't have to be with this person. Um, I'm almost feeling like you don't want to be with this person. But you feel bad if you end it. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to be for everybody. <laughs> okay. What can you do to help? Oh, I feel like we just went through all that. We have the Knight of Cups spirituality. So if you're not feeling this person, what did I just say? Um, throw this person back into the universe. Let somebody else have this person. Okay. And then you have to restart what you're manifesting. Um, I feel like that's going within looking up, um, manifestation and even like YouTubing, um, how to manifest the perfect relationship. You know, um, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with asking for who you look like, but also what you want. Okay. As far as the relationship goes, I don't feel like you're being selfish. And I, I don't feel like you're being vain. And I don't feel like, because you know what? You have to be attracted to your person. And I almost feel like I'm talking to somebody who really, really adores and cherishes this person. But um, I feel like they might be um, a little bit more strongly attracted to you. And I feel like you're, I, I'm getting the sense like you're going to feel bad if you tell them that you don't want to be with them. So why, and then what, you're going to keep yourself in a relationship that you don't want to be in with somebody you're not attracted to because you don't want to hurt their feelings. No. You can't go through your own life like that, okay? Um, what can they do to ensure to be a part of your life? Uh, well, we have action coming out. Um, but I feel like this is... Uh, I don't know how I feel about this card coming out in this position. I don't really feel like it's speaking anything other than... Um, because, you know, you can't change... I mean, they actually can change how you look. Um, you can use the law of attraction and... I don't know, quantum physics, I guess. Um, I mean, seriously, you can. I mean, I feel like I've made myself look 10 years younger um, just based off of breathing work, breath work, and visualization. So um, if you would have seen me a year ago, no. But now I go to the store and I get carded by people that are younger than me and it makes me feel good. Um, but, you know, you don't want to tell this person, can't you change the way you look? <laughs> That'd be a little fucked up. You know, and it might not be looks. It might just be something that they do personality wise that you're really not feeling. Okay. Um, you know, they don't realize that they're picking their boogers and they're, you know, in their forties. I don't know. 
um, or they're picking their boogers and they're rolling them in their fingers and throwing them on the ground. You know, I, I, I don't know. There's something about this person that you don't like though. Okay, Cancer. I don't know what it is. You do know what it is. I don't. But there is something about this person that you're not really feeling. But you, I feel like they're a very nice person. But you're like, I don't. I almost feel like you're afraid to say something because you don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, too bad. Okay. Just because they're not your person doesn't mean they won't be for somebody else. All right. You throw them back into the sea and then somebody else snags them. Okay. Um, your advice. We have eight of wands journeys. And I feel like the journey is away from this person, but that's my personal opinion. All right. Um, for some of you, it could be that, you know, this is going to be a journey for a little bit while longer for you. And maybe it's that you are determined to make this work because you don't want to be um, 3D egotistical or vain. All right. But for some of you, I feel like it's taking flight away from this person because you're realizing that they're not your type. And you're thinking about 50 years from now, are you going to be happy with this person? Um, and I feel like for most of you, like 95% of who I'm talking to, the answer is going to be no. Okay. And I don't feel like you're a bad person for that. And I don't feel like I'm a bad person for telling you that. I'm just being honest. Like, I couldn't stay. When I was going through, um, you know, a breakup, um, this person was like, well, why can't we just, you know, and I had kids and... It's like, I'm not, I, I would never stay together with somebody out of sheer kids. No, I'm not like that. Um, because the kids are going to see the happiness that we embody, which would be none. And then that transpires onto them. Okay. And if you don't have kids in this situation, um, you know, maybe you do. Maybe you met somebody, you're a single parent and this person comes in and they're like super duper lovey, you know? And, but you're like, mm -mm. no, I can't see myself. I don't care if I have 18 kids. I don't need somebody for that. You know, you um, dated them a couple of times and it just kind of uh, went on a little bit too much longer. And then now you're like in this part where it's like, oh my God, I brought them around my kids and how am I going to tell them? <laughs> I don't know what your situation is, but I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you're not supposed to be in this situation, but Remember, this is just for entertainment purposes only. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull you guys a power thought card from your universal spirit team, okay? We have at the bottom, patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. All right. And that could be telling you to have patience with this person, but I feel like there's patience in other areas of life too. And then we have trust. All right. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So you know what to do. Okay, Cancer, you know what to do. Nobody needs to tell you what to do. All right. I'm going to leave it right there, guys. Bye.